We are presented with yet another pumpkin dilemma. <laughs> I believe we've got another holiday on. Oh no, that's the Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's Thanksgiving. Oh, dang it! I believe this <clears throat> is the final new pumpkin beer we will be doing this year, unless something really hits me in the next couple weeks. Wow! Uh, I think this will be the final one of the new pumpkin beers, and then uh, in a few weeks we will wind up uh, probably bringing back some of the returning champions. I'll go back and look for those, and we'll. Kind yeah. of from our notes, our conversations, we'll decide if any of those other ones have even met the challenge. We will of, take comfort three favorites. in the nostalgia That's right. of the previous year's delicious pumpkin beers. Whoa! The ones that you oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, it says it right there on the script. I'm reading it. Oh, okay. No, I'm just oh, kidding. You're good. You're, yeah, the teleprompter. It just wait, came to me. The teleprompter's a little slow. Yeah. Okay, it's just catching. There it, it is. Now. Okay. All right. So we have an imperial pumpkin beer. For this give it a shot i'm andrew and i am keith and we are about beverages.com and the beverage they were that we are about today is the elysian the great pumpkin imperial pumpkin ale yes and uh what do you need besides just having the beer you need to be sitting in uh, of course a pumpkin patch Ooh, of course right where'd the pumpkin go i can't see oh no there it is it almost okay. kind of does blend in yeah. a little bit it's actually kind of a scary looking pumpkin it is. It's a little more uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollow kind of pumpkin thing yeah. there. It's like a little bit of that kind of Disney. The Great Pumpkin makes me think of Charlie Brown. Yes. And I would assume that Linus's Great Pumpkin, had he shown up that night, lo, those many years ago. Is he would, here? Is he here he, when he passes what's out? That? What's that? What's that? What's that? Passes out in the field. And it's Snoopy. But uh, I don't know if he would have looked like that. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think so. I, I think he'd have been not. happier. Yeah, It'd I think been so a too. Jollier pumpkin. Yeah, <laughs> not <laughs> not jolly pumpkin, but a jollier pumpkin. Oh. Not, the, not the brewery jolly. Jolly pumpkin. pumpkin. Although now, I'd did really they do a pumpkin beer? <laughs> You'd hope, wouldn't you? <laughs> You'd hope so. You'd hope it'd be the best one ever. Too. <laughs> yeah, I've, we ever look, we have to look for a, a jolly, <laughs> a, jolly a pumpkin, pumpkin beer from Jolly Pumpkin. Yeah, because we were confused the first time we saw that brewery. We thought they only did pumpkin only did beer pumpkin, stuff, yeah. and you were horrified. I know. I was like, <laughs> like this is literally my nightmare right now. I've had a horrible nightmare. Stay far away from them. Um, so we did another beer from Elysian uh, a couple weeks ago, which uh, if you want to go watch uh, that one in the archives, you can go to aboutbeverages.com, or you can subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, just on this page, you can go find some more of those. And it was called Night Owl, and we liked it. We just didn't think it was really a pumpkin beer right like i kept saying apple pie Apples. you said you got some of that fruit and they were like autumn pie it, it was some sweetness it was, yeah it was yeah, like a, it was like, good it was yeah. a very good seasonal autumn beer it just didn't it didn't completely scream pumpkin yeah it wasn't overtly pumpkin yes yeah. uh so anyway this one is uh an imperial so it's eight percent uh 20 ibus and it is available now only in 22 ounce bombers or on draft uh and it's available i think into november so you've got a little time, if, if uh, depending on what we say, or if you just want to try it anyway, you've got a little time to try and find it. Uh, this one is similar to the other one in that they're using pumpkin seeds and pumpkin in the mash and all that kind of stuff, but they do uh, actually do roasted pumpkin seeds. I had to look over there to make sure I had that right. And they actually add extra pumpkin into the mash and into the fermenter. So they actually, while the beer is fermenting on the yeast, they add pumpkin in there as well. So we'll see how much that really comes through. Um, it's going to be difficult to see if that comes through though because i don't see the beer where ah, oh there, there it is oh wow phil's got it wow phil collins hello i must be going is uh <laughs> may, probably what he's thinking about a pumpkin beer. i don't know how much he likes pumpkin beers though i don't, I don't know, know if he's in the same boat he never says anything no he doesn't it's that same steely gaze the stoic the, the, the stoic, stoic uh, yeah. the presence of <laughs> phil <laughs> watching uh, all of our beverages I always feel like Phil is watching me. Oh. <laughs> and I have no privacy. <laughs> when you're in he the shower. It kind of is because I never move that, that pro. It actually is the album. I own the album, Hello, I Must Be Going. That is actually a physical effect, a practical effect, as it were. Have a camera on that just for this. It's not a picture. It's, it's not any of those things. The that, actual that's, thing. That's our, uh, how much we love our craft. Yeah. Well, and, uh, and I've mentioned maybe we should change, but you've said no. I, I've when I have talked about changing <laughs> the picture, <laughs> uh, I have had several people speak up and say nay. No, okay. <laughs> so, but at some point, I think we do need to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I would we need think to start so. looking through other album covers. We even at least could do we had, go back to one of our other Phil Collins album covers, right? And which we, is a good one. Did Michael McDonald or no? I just had I, I had that on my head that time. Yeah, so, that okay. would be pretty good though too. <clears throat> yeah, we used uh, Barbara Streisand was around too. She and stopped by for uh, Mr. Roboto. 
Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> oh, we did use Mr. Roboto was pretty good because it was two faces. Should I grab? You should. Yeah, go ahead and take that. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, we need that. So now what? The other one was the night owl. It Correct. Was like Ooh, okay, so this is a night owl. this is a oh eight point four. Yep. An imperial. That other one was like six point seven or something, wasn't it? It was in the sixes. Yeah. Okay. I, I believe you're right. We had like previously last week. We had the. Uh, Schla- Schlafly? Schlafly. Schlafly. And that was eight. And that was eight percent. Yeah. Which was surprising. They technically could have called that an Imperial Ale, right? I think so. But maybe I think they didn't eight, want to fight. I think eight percent is right at the cusp. The, sh- the Schlaflians. The Schlaflians. Wow. The, uh, As they're known. The do- the devoted follow- followers of the Schlafly. The Schlaflians. There you go. <clears throat> well it sure looks well, pumpkin. Set that there? No, I'll set it down here. It's nice and Set it down there. That's yeah. It's not orangey pumpkin, but coppery orange. Nice, I don't think uh, this is quite as dark as the other one that we had. Uh, I want to say. I think you might be right. Yeah. This one definitely is more of like fresh pumpkin color. It's looks like, like a light it's orange. got a pumpkin in it. Oh, wait, no. That's oh, the yeah. pumpkin in the background. It's looking through okay. it. <laughs> Look, very yeah, lightly nice cloudy, but not, yeah. not crazy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, good, good head retention there. Uh-huh. It's looking good. Okay. All right. Is that, I always, I never know what allspice actually is. So maybe it's, that's allspice. It's, it's all of them. It's, it's all spices. Every one but it'll of say allspice, but then it'll list other spices. So if it's truly all spices, you don't need to say anything else. Well, you, you wanted like greater amounts of these, and then you just wanted a balance of all, the all spices. Spice. So that's like your multivitamin. No. All spice covers all the things, and then you hit other areas. <laughs> maybe. In I don't know. Okay. Well, we might be able to find that answer out in a little bit. There's... um. That's cinnamon and cinnamon and nutmeg. Cinnamon, uh, but there's and, something. And like I said, I think actually it is the allspice, which is okay. you know, clove and all those kinds of things are in there. Um, I get a little. I get definitely get uh, like a nice malty backbone in there as well, yeah. which kind of makes me think of pumpkin. Like I so get. You don't, so you don't really. Get a, like, a little, you don't really smell pumpkin, like I said. You know. Yeah, it's kinda, but you so can maybe that's what bit, it is. But because I do get a little pumpkinish. That's a really nice aroma. Yes, yeah. it's, it's very it's very pleasant. Uh, it's uh, maybe a little strong on the cinnamon. Uh, spice wise like yeah. that really jumps out uh i had to really kind of <laughs> get my nostrils in there to kind of get through some of that to finally get to the other layers um but I, but i think yeah. that's nice though and also pleasant, depending though. on this is uh, i don't know it's fairly fresh that's something that usually is going to die down so maybe that's you know where yeah. you maybe accentuate that a little bit knowing that it might not hold up and if people are buying these holding them till halloween or thanksgiving or something like that it might not last quite yeah. as long so maybe that's why there's a little more in there but i think it yeah i, I like it I, you know, it does lead with it but it it fades into other yeah. nice things it does fade good. in well we'll fade into the taste then fading i hated for that to leave my mouth yeah no oh okay no <laughs> <laughs> no not at all <laughs> i was then thinking of the next reaction oh where's the camera oh well there isn't a camera the one you make me drink this lizard, lizard spit, spit for. Wow. You're going lizard no, spit. No, it's, it's not that bad. Okay. No. Uh, it's kind of like burnt pumpkin. Like I'm kind of getting like a, like it's almost like either the cinnamon or something in there is so strong that with the malt backbone that's that's there, it's almost like it's like a burnt crust into a, a, pump, the- a pumpkin pie. And then the pumpkin pie isn't like the crust. Like so it's it's missing some of the buttery note that you get out of the crust. So that's why I'm saying the burnt part. Like I'm getting kind of that, and it's a little bitter on the back end. Um, it's it, the sweetness is is fairly nice. The spices are about what I got in the aroma. So like to so that's fairly measured overall. But it's it's just it's kind of not very harmonious. I don't know. Maybe that's a little too long winded. But that's kind of what I was thinking. That's what hit me as soon as that was why I had I had like four sips. I it's funny I on my first the first two thirds of my sip I was like wow I really like that but then I didn't like the finish yeah it went uh, like licorice almost to me Mm. Um, that's where I'm maybe that's the the allspice that's where I'm getting the burnt okay at the end and and that's a little exaggeration like don't think it's like smoky but there's something about it that says very baked roasted burnt and yeah maybe that's it like I said maybe that's like the roasted uh pumpkin seed part like if, if that's coming through a little bit and it's i'm not sure I'm not sure about that one so i don't get i don't get the burnt but i do there's like a high note that's almost 
I don't want this in a pumpkin. It's almost refreshing. It's a, it's not mint, but it's something. Oh, there's totally there's spearmint in there. There's there's something. No, there is like no, there is like a there a is like note a of clean. There is like a cool like of spearmint cool, kind of yeah. thing. No, I agree. There which is, is like a little hint of that. Which and is, so that could be something in the, in like a like a cream the, soda e and maybe that's why I'm thinking licorice or mm. I don't know. But like I said, my initial sip, I was like, wow. I, Okay, I agree. And the then, front the front bit is yeah, better. Yeah. I agree. Like when I took another you sip could, after talking about, <laughs> yeah. If only we had our spittoons. No, we don't do that. <laughs> we hear it about beverages. What do we do? We we gotta have it. Come all on, the time. You gotta drink it. And what do we do with it then? And then analyze it, and then let we it go swallow. to room temperature. We swallow. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, wow. Just wanted to make sure that wow. everyone's aware of that. Okay. That we we drink here at about beverages. <laughs> We're not spitting things out. We'd, it's fortunate that we're not doing like 12 or 15 things in an evening. No, that's true. Then we might. But When we used to do those really long podcast sessions, oh, sometimes, sometimes once we hit the fourth or fifth thing, we were not only Ooh. were we a little tired out of like things to say, it was also kind of like we were both like, well, it's kind of this. You know, yeah. like it was, it, you, you know, definitely, you can have palate fatigue palate very fatigue. quick. I, I love notice that I term. get it, I think, a little bit quicker. But uh, yeah, I agree. The front, for me, it's maybe a little bit less. The front third to half i'm like oh that's pretty good and then it just starts going into these other layers that yeah they're not necessarily oh, wow you're making even more of a face than I i'm not as it's as i'm yeah because i am getting more of that it's almost whether it's eucalyptus or mint or spearmint or, that's really weird it's it, it's oddly yeah it's oddly ref- I it don't is it's want. right in the middle of my tongue it kind of hits and then and it, it goes, goes up, up. yeah, yeah. I get that absolutely, wow, and then call on that. and then it goes into lick, like I said, a licorice herbal. I wonder if that is. Herbal-y. I wonder if that is like the allspice thing. I don't We're know. We're gonna have to look up what is exactly technically allspice, or maybe someone will leave a comment below. Help us and out. Let us know let what us actually know. is in allspice, yeah. or right. if you are watching us live, which is a good thing to do. Which is a good thing to do. Twitch.tv slash about beverages. That's where you can watch us live. If you're watching us there, you could actually mention it in the chat. Ooh. You could be telling us right now that all spice is this or all spice is that. That would be great. Or maybe all spice is whatever to anybody. <laughs> no one knows. That's any spice. But yeah. Wait, so this one is definitely spice. not a competitor, I would say. For no. Me. Okay. Yeah. Have we had any that we feel even <laughs> can hold up? Like, I think we might want to revisit those anyway just to make sure that they're still good as we're promoting those. Like, I totally don't mind grabbing a couple of those and, and having Our original ones? The ones that we loved. Yeah. Are any of the ones that we have had this year, are they even worth bringing back to try against anything? Well, not the Breckenridge. No, definitely not. I, I think we kind of like the Schlafly. That, I think, has been my favorite. Yeah, because that, that was more... Because, right, the first one was the... Uh, the, the first one was the a good, solid, was, seasonal yeah, beer, just seasonal not Seasonal beer, right. And, and then, then I think the Schlafly was... I think that was the one, yeah. Of the four we had, now I don't know if it's worth bringing I back. I still don't know if it holds a candle to the three that we've right. talked about that we Yeah, loved. I probably wouldn't bring them back. Okay. But of the four we tried, if we were picking a favorite this year, of this year's <laughs> yeah. offerings, it would be, the I guess, the, the Schlafly. It would be the Schlafly. Of which the ones would then go up this. against the how we used to do it was the previous winner. Right. And there'd be no contest that any of our previous There's going to be no contest against any of those beers against, if you want a pumpkin beer, and like I said, I think most people are finally tired of this. I know your palate <laughs> might be. If you want a pumpkin beer, it's the old standbys. It's Dogfish Head. Dogfish. They're pumpkin. That one's delicious. It's more right. uh, molasses. Uh, you know, brown sugar kind of pumpkin uh, mixed in there. Just a really good solid beer. Yep. It's the Pugsley's Smashed Pumpkin. It's from Shipyard Brewing. That one is an imperial as well. It's like 9%. It's like buttery crust yeah. with pumpkin. That one is fantastic for different reasons, so kind of different sides of the spectrum. And then, like I said, the Ballast Point, which I know we bash a lot, but that one was really good. It's a Scotch If they ale. even make it. You keep saying that. I don't know. I just I didn't look know. for it. Okay? okay. I didn't look for we it. We don't know. <laughs> if it's around. The Ballast Point Pumpkin Down. That one was good, too. It's a, scotch, last it's a scotch ale pumpkin beer, and that right. one is really good, too. Uh, and if you want something really on the light side, because all of those seem too heavy, Shipyard also just does Pumpkin Head. Pumpkin Head, yeah. Pumpkin Head. That one is one of the first ones we had. That one is still good. It's just a very light pumpkin beer. Yeah. Um, but those would be the big four. Those are the four pumpkin of the apocalypse, pumpkin beers of the apocalypse. <laughs> I don't know. And, well, and the, if, you know, if somebody is close enough to know you your pumpkin porter pumpkin pie porter 
Well, thank you. Yeah, throw that one in there too. Yeah, well, that one is uh, currently uh, it's it's fermenting right now. Percolating. So hopefully, hopefully it's percolating. Yeah, exactly. It's a coffee pumpkin porter. <laughs> Ooh, that's not Ooh. a bad idea. I'm writing Wait, that down. Somebody, oh, oh God! Yeah, were we live for this? Stop. Write we this were. Down. No, no, don't say anything. Uh, quiet. Uh, anyway, uh, so anyway, that is your uh, full edition of new pumpkin beers for this year. We may get to some uh, of the old favorites in a future episode, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but if not, if you are interested in anything or just want to ask us other questions regarding any kind of. Uh, alcohol tea coffee all these kinds of things we are about beverages you can uh, follow us on twitter that is always a good place to find out when we're going live or like I said, again if you want to interact with us throughout the week what beers we're having all that kind of stuff that is a great place to find us and uh if you want archives of different things besides the website you can always go to youtube.com and uh slash about beverages is where you can find all of our old videos and podcasts and everything else so that that's a wrap i think uh, i think so all right, but as we always say, maybe not this one, <laughs> but whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>